welcome back to my channel. I have a really fun and exciting uh, video for you guys today. I've had tons of requests for like wedding planning videos. So a couple of things that I wanted to talk about first. So I'm no expert about wedding planning. All I, all I like can tell you guys about is like my experience this last year of like planning our wedding. So when I talk about things in this video, this is just like my personal experience. Everybody's going to have different experiences and different things to like note or say about how their wedding planning experience went. So one thing I wanted to note, um, the very first thing that I can recommend to you guys is get yourself a wedding email. I made a separate email address for Steve and I as soon as we got engaged and that way when we were like emailing vendors and stuff like that, I had, there was just like one communal place to like store everything and so it wasn't like clogging up my email, it wasn't clogging up Steve's email, Anything to do with wedding planning, we initially made like that email and that's where everything went. So that's like my tip number one that I would highly recommend you guys do. If you guys are going to go to any of those like bridal events or bridal shows or anything like that, make out like an entire sheet of like labels with your name, your email address, and your wedding date on it and your phone number. And just and take those to the bridal shows because every single booth that you go to has like a draw to win something for free. So instead of taking the time to fill out like everybody's little draw forms, just like like put a sticker on the back of it, put it in the, in the draw bin and you're good to go. I went with uh, two of my bridesmaids, my mom and Steve's mom, and they all had like their little, they all had their little stickers and they went to like every single booth for me. That's just like one, another tip of advice for you guys that I learned like when I was in the beginning of um, wedding planning. So uh, those are my only two tips. So a couple of things that I personally did because I was so excited about um, being engaged and stuff and I'd watched Belinda Celine's video like back when I first got engaged and some of the things that she had said in that video I totally did. One of the things I did is I bought myself like a really nice like bag for all of my wedding planning stuff. That's as far as I can zoom out. But I bought myself a Kate Spade um, wedding planning bag. And all this is, is it's just like a bag that I keep my binder in, I keep uh, my life planner for going to different events, and I just want to show you the inside too, because the inside is like so fun. This is what the inside looks like. And I love, like, this is totally my colors, like a blush pink and gold, those are my wedding colors, so I couldn't say no to this bag. I did buy myself like a really nice bag to keep my binder in and keep um, my pen, and I bought myself a really nice pen too. This is a Swarovski crystal pen. Like seriously, you guys don't have to do all this. I just like went crazy with um, like being so excited that we were engaged, right? So, okay, and another thing that I did when I, we first got engaged is I bought myself a cell phone case. And so I, uh, I got this on Etsy. I went to go look uh, not too long ago to see if they had any like just married ones. And the seller that I got this from no longer exists. So, I mean, you can find tons of like um, engaged or wedding phone cases on Etsy, but I, I really like the style of this one and so I wanted to see what else that company had to offer, but uh, yeah, they don't exist anymore. So I did get this cell phone case. Anyway, so I did that too. So that was just something else to, to note there. Okay, so this is my wedding planning binder. When I initially made this binder, my idea was is that I would basically, my whole like wedding planning everything would go into this binder. Um, this binder I got from Staples. It was part of like the Martha Stewart collection and I wish that they would have had a white one but that when I was looking there was no white one. And then this decal, like the Talia and Steve things to do before we say I do and like our 2015. This is a vinyl decal that I had made from a girl who lives locally to me. And then on the side of my binder it just says our wedding planner. And it's made with my colors. Like before we even got engaged I knew what I wanted my wedding colors to be so it was pretty easy for me to like pick my colors. But that's uh, one thing that I did as soon as we got engaged here is I made up a binder. This binder I take with me on any like vendor meetings, um, any meetings with like my florist, with my decorator, like anything. Anytime that I have anything wedding related, this binder comes with me. I keep this binder in my bag whenever I go. So I put in a little um, like clear pouch thing or whatever. These bow paper clips are from uh, Kate Spade. And then same thing, these are both Kate Spade too. I actually did not use this like collect all zippy pouch as much as I thought it was going to. I have been saving some of the receipts for things that I've spent for the wedding, but in all honesty, I haven't really been keeping up with that either. So uh, those are two ideas that like might be really good, but um, I have not been keeping up with them. Okay, and I this is awesome though. I do have like a business card holder in here that I keep all of the businesses cards that we have used locally. And so this, I thought was going to be a really good idea. And so what it is, is it's just a 
wedding paper and I've mentioned this in a video before too in my DIY life planner project video if you guys are engaged and you're planning on doing lots of like especially lots of paper crafting for your wedding highly recommend getting this recollections paper pad um, it is like the bridal bliss paper pad I have used well this is my third one actually but it, it just has like such good papers in it this one here is like one of my favorites I absolutely love this one um, but I, I need to use this. I need to cut this all up, but I wanted to show you guys like what all of the papers look like in here first. So I um, highly recommend getting this. And when we first got engaged, I made calendars for my binder because I thought that I would be using the calendars in here to keep track of like payments or appointments or anything like that. But if you're not going to carry your binder with you every single day, it doesn't really make sense. So I um, cut all of these papers out to fit like this 8x10 section and then I printed like a calendar for each one. I do not use this. <laughs> um, I have like, I have some like different appointments set up in here all over the place, but I did not end up using it. Especially ever since I got my Erin Condren, like I, I don't use these. So it's a good idea in theory and if you're going to carry your binder with you all over the place then it would be a good idea to to put a calendar in it but i have not used this at all so so the guts of my binder these page dividers are from the not wedding planner binder and i threw the actual binder out so i don't have that to show you guys but i used like the guts of it and put them into my binder this was like an awesome little set to get so um i use all of the little tabs on here and there's anything that was like, like there's like a wedding planning timeline, anything that I didn't use from that set or wasn't going to use or anything like that, I just threw it out. So there's a lot more to the not wedding planner binder like guts than um, what I am actually showing you guys here. But there's like a wedding planning timeline, which is awesome. Guest list and invitation. So I have like a copy of our wedding invitation in this like plastic sleeve here so that I always have it and I can use it as like a memory. I kept one and I think I have a whole ton of other ones too. Um, but there's lots of information in here about like creating your wedding invitations and then there's a section for your gift registry. So uh, Steve and I have like our gift registry in here and we have like a copy of it from when we actually registered. Um, there's like checklists for your registry, venue and menu. Yeah so we've got um, our contract there and then I have like our menu and everything. Anything that I got from our venue I keep in like this little section here. There's also like um, ways to set up your floor plan. Um, I've got my like, I've got my cake contract in here. Some cake picking tips. So our dress and accessories, but I keep my dress receipt and my dress contract and all of that in here. Um, hairstyle and makeup artist contact sheet. These are good, but again, if you're not gonna carry it around with you all the time, Maybe it's not such a good idea. I absolutely love the dividers though. Like in all honesty, I probably could have just bought the dividers from this, the Not Wedding Planner. That's basically all I've used from the actual kit. I kind of knew what I wanted for my wedding. And so like for me, I didn't, I didn't really need all of these checklists and stuff like that. Like I, I had a vision for my wedding like before I even got engaged. And so if you don't, these are super helpful. Okay, ceremony and bridal party. So we've got a lot of information about our church in here. Again, I just keep it in another like separate little folder here. There's tons of information about your, your ceremony and all of that. So that's really interesting. If you guys aren't getting married in a church where they have like strict guidelines and rules and stuff that you need to do, this would probably come in like really helpful. Photos, video, and entertainment. So we do have a videographer hired. Anyway, so we've got our videographer contact sheet and uh, contract. Flowers and decor. I'm not doing too many flowers for my uh, wedding because I have jeweled bouquets. But yeah, flowers and decor. So I've got like my decor contract, my flower contract for the couple of things that we are getting. And then the big day and beyond. And all that I have back here, but information about our honeymoon. And then um, I just have some like extra sleeves and some extra business card holders. So that's really the extent of my uh, wedding planning binder. So in all honesty, ever since I bought my Erin Condren, I don't use this. I use my binder to keep track of like my contracts and all of that and that has been super helpful. If you have an idea of what you want for your wedding day and you know your colors and you know what vendors you're going to pick and all of that, the actual knot dividers and guts of the knots binder might not be useful to you. It was not very useful to me and I ended up throwing out a lot of it. The stuff that you saw in here is what I kept but I still didn't really use it. I don't know, I would highly recommend having a binder just to keep your contracts and stuff in. But that's about the extent of like what I used my binder for is, is I guess what I'm going to say. So ever since I discovered Erin Condren, <laughs> which I mean if you guys are following this channel you've probably seen a whole bunch of like my Erin Condren um, 
stuff. So ever since I bought my Erin Condren, it has been my lifesaver for wedding planning. So when I initially got it, and like I have a, a separate video on showing you guys how to make like this custom cover, I use my dashboard for all my post-its for like wedding planning and everything. Now I use my Erin Condren not just for wedding planning, I use my Erin Condren for um, my, my business, my personal, and for wedding planning. So it's been a, like an awesome tool for everything, but mainly for wedding planning is what I'm so thankful for. So let me just see here. I'm going to show you guys this week. And so this is like three weeks from our wedding. And this is like my most productive week in my Erin Condren. So if you guys keep up with my videos, you've seen this before. But um, I organized this week a little bit different because I'm so close to my wedding. So on the bottom here, I have a giant wedding to-do list for every single day. And then on the side, I have like a wedding to buy, to pay, to go, to do, like running checklists throughout the entire week or different ideas that I think of. This was my most productive like wedding planning week in my Erin Condren. And I absolutely loved using it this way. Okay, a couple other things and I'm, I just have it covered because I don't want to share anything um, with you guys in case there's people who are watching this video that will be attending my wedding or there's like there's a lot of personal stuff in here so I just don't want to show you guys but this is how I used my notes section in the back of my Erin Condren and so I have one that's called wedding ideas one that's called shopping list and then I have like a giant wedding to-do list and so this was a running list when probably about three weeks probably about three months before my wedding I just like wrote down absolutely everything that I needed to do and throughout the last few months I've just been checking stuff off of it as I've done them then this section here, it was actually some DIY projects and stuff that I had left to do for my DIY projects. Okay, uh, the slideshow for the wedding, um, I've got all of my like my step-by-steps on how I'm making the slideshow up, everything that I wanted to include in it. This to-do section, um, I didn't end up using and stuff from the slideshow is underneath this because I needed two pages for the slideshow apparently. Okay, this isn't like wedding related, but I made a makeup packing list which has like saved my life. Um, I just like wrote down like general things that I need to bring whenever I'm traveling for my makeup because I always forget something if I don't check this list. That's just something to know because I'm going to be using this on my honeymoon. Okay, and then this is the last page that I made. And so we've got my wedding date and I've got like my to-dos for my reception. So this is just stuff to remember the day of or things that I needed to like delegate towards uh, people. And then the reception information is things that need to be done at the reception. So these are, I just made these like not too long ago because I needed more space and things that were like relevant to the specific day not just to do's for our honeymoon i made like a vacation like playlist kind of so as i would hear different songs i wanted to jot them down so that i can go download them and then the last thing that i have to show you in my Erin Condren and how i've used it is my honeymoon to pack to do and shopping list so uh this is just i've been using this a lot more now that we're getting closer to our honeymoon but um yeah, that is everything that I wanted to show you with how I use my Erin Condren. And now I just kind of want to show you guys some like different stickers and stuff that I think that, that you'll really appreciate or would really need for if you're wedding planning in your Erin Condren. Okay, so the first thing that I wanted to show you guys is uh, some washi tape that I got. And the washi tape that I got, I got from I Love Design on Etsy. And it is this like thank and thanks and thank you uh, washi tape. I plan to use these for my thank you cards. So I Love Design had a whole ton of other washi tape. And then they also had this really, 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 really tiny love washi. And it, there was a two pack. I just can't find my other uh, roll. But I use this to decorate my monthly spread in my Erin Condren. And I absolutely love this. So those are the only two kind of washi that I bought for wedding planning. Okay, so stickers for wedding planning. Maggie from Caress Press. And if you guys follow my nail channel then you've seen this set before if you guys do not follow my nail channel I will link the video where these were featured in but she made me this like amazing wedding set completely 100% customized to uh, what I needed it to be I absolutely love it so it is in my wedding colors my uh, my blush pink and my champagne gold so we've got some um, heart checklist she made me tons of nail polish stickers because I I'm a nail tech if you guys haven't guessed or don't watch my videos, I am a nail tech, and so um, I will be doing tons of people's nails for the wedding day, so I needed more nail uh, polish stickers. She made me like a Just Married banner, some like gold limo stickers, some uh, page light stickers, some like functional kind of stickers. We have a lot more like wedding payments due that week, so she made me more wedding picture uh, payment stickers, do not disturb tag uh, suitcases, and cameras. Then this one here, we've got a whole ton of like useful checklists, which is awesome, but they're super customizable and super like fun and girly. So I love that. She made me custom headers. So wedding um, to do and nail work. I don't need too many nail work ones because I'm only working two days that week. The rest are wedding and to do ones. 
And then this is the last set that she made me. So I really only have a couple decorative ones, which is nice. But at the same time, I have a whole bunch of checklists and like functional stickers. So um, I absolutely love this set that she put together for me. And my entire week will be based on this set and inspired um, around that one. Some other wedding planning stickers that I wanted to show you guys. And I'll tell you my thoughts on each one of them and how they worked for me for wedding planning. Again, keep in mind, this is just my personal opinion. So this sticker set is from Lime and Mortar. Absolutely love this sticker set. I have used tons of stickers on this if you guys can't see that already. So um, she's got a six month countdown and I've used tons of them. I love the, the pastel and muted tones to these. I'm more of a pastel girl than I am like a bright girl. So um, I love these. My only thing that didn't really work for me is this like hen's night and buck's night because in Canada we don't call it that. So that's the only thing. Those are the only two that didn't really work for me. But I used a ton of these stickers and I absolutely love the Lime and Mortar sticker set. Okay, if you guys have watched my uh, my plan with me, then you know how much I love this sticker set. This is from Twice as Nice Lettering. And the reason I love her stickers, again, is because they're very muted tones, but they're neutral. Like, they're, like, real life looking. And so um, my colors, uh, the blush pink and gold, are incorporated into this. She didn't specially make this for me. This is one that she has listed. Actually, it's two girls. I shouldn't say she. It's two, two girls. And this is um, the sheet that they have listed. And I have used this one a ton. I absolutely love this one. I use this a lot for, we had four weddings to attend this year in addition to our own. And I use this a lot for decorating the days for their weddings. So I loved this sticker set. It's seriously one of my favorite wedding planning stickers. Um, two stickers from Rory Sweet Addictions. Um, I did use a lot of stickers on this set as well. And I liked the size of like her little icon stickers. I Again, I use these more for decor purposes and not so much for my wedding planning needs. But um, I did use a ton of her little stickers up here. And then we've got little champagne glasses. I love ring stickers. I don't know why, but those are like my favorite wedding planning stickers. Um, just married ones. Yeah, I loved this set. And then this set from Rory Sweet Addiction has been like my life. I absolutely love this. So I got her sticker set probably at about the three month mark. And so um, the year stickers and all these, these ones weren't useful to me because it had already passed. I mean, I guess I could go back in and, and decorate it with that, but I think I'll probably just end up giving these away to a, a friend of mine who might be wedding planning or something like that by the time I'm done here. I absolutely love these countdown stickers. These are my favorite ones that I've found. And keep in mind, I did a ton of research looking for wedding planning stickers when I was looking for wedding planning stickers. And these were some of my favorites for all the reasons that I've listed. So L Heart Designs is um, another uh, wedding set that I had bought. And these, they didn't come as a set. You had to buy these separately. But I bought her stickers and I wish I would have discovered hers sooner because the dress fitting stickers, her cake tasting stickers, dress shopping, uh, look at venues, save the dates, invites, book your honeymoon, all of these would have been useful. But by the time I got this set, I had done a lot of these. So I, I really wish I would have found this set sooner, but it is a really nice set. And I love the muted tones from L Heart Designs. I'm a big fan of like toned down tones. Okay, and then this is her countdown stickers. So I bought the Rory Sweet Addiction ones for my daily countdowns. And then this one I bought for my monthly countdowns. And so I'll show you how I've used um, each of these separately. Okay, so in my monthly view is where I use the L Heart Design ones. So I have these ones because um, hers were weekly stickers up until the last week. And so then the last week I have like my daily stickers. And I've used like uh, Leave for Honeymoon sticker. I've used her Last Day Single sticker. I use them all for my monthly spread. And then I use the Rory Sweet Addiction ones for my, my daily countdowns. So both of them serve like a different purpose. And I'm glad that I bought both of them. But again, by the time I got this set in, um, a lot of these stickers weren't really useful to me anymore. So yeah, I've, I've really liked using this set as well. I highly recommend that one. Okay, so this is a sticker set from Oh So Pretty Planner. And I bought this sticker set because we had a lot of weddings to go to this year. And I was going to use the little lines and stuff for filling in the details of each of those weddings that we went to. So I've gotten a lot of use. You can see I've used three of these stickers. Um, one of the, the weeks I didn't use this sticker because it didn't match my color scheme. But um, I did use a lot of them. And then she's also got bachelorette party and bridal shower stickers. These stickers are nice, but because I do theme decorating, they, they didn't match my uh, the themes for the weeks that I had used them on. And that's why I didn't really use them so much. Whereas like the Elhard Design stickers, um, because they're so muted, you can put them on like any week basically. But that was my only thing about these ones is I just didn't use them um, a whole ton because some of my weeks didn't match them. But they were really nice and really useful. And I know we have weddings to go to next year, so I will definitely be using those for next year. Okay, another sticker set that I want for my wedding is from Pink Paper Plane. And all these are as wedding arches. Um, Pink Paper Plane, she 
uh, hand draws her, her stickers and then turns them into stickers. So I absolutely love these ones. I've used one of them for a week that we just attended here and I will be using more from her. Okay, and another sticker set that I bought from Pink Paper Plane are her ring stickers. Now, if you guys are engaged and planning a wedding, I would highly recommend getting these stickers. They don't look like this anymore. She's got, the, they look a little bit different. They look more like these ones where she's got some giant stickers and then she's got some really small ones, which is nice because although these are like big, it would have been nice to have smaller ones. And so what I use these stickers for. So um, for me, like my engagement ring is due for like a checkup every like six months or something like that, just to make sure that it's like all in order. And I love that her sticker set comes with multicolored rings because then they match the theme weeks that I'm doing. If you are wedding planning in your own contour and life planner, get some headings that say wedding to buy, wedding to pay, wedding to go, wedding to do. And these are just from Let's Plan It. So like anybody who makes morning, day and night headers will, can make these ones up for you. But I wish I would have had these sooner. These are pretty new to my collection and I wish I would have had them for like the whole time that I was wedding planning in my life planner. So that's one suggestion that I can give to you guys is make up some like morning, day and night headings because I have wish I would have had these ones sooner. Okay, so I'm going to talk about one sticker set that I did not enjoy using. And I'm sorry because I know like Oh Hello is so popular among the planning community and like Kayla from Oh Hello is like... She's such a sweetheart, and I absolutely love watching her videos. I love seeing her stuff. Um, I've only bought a few stickers from her, and they are personally not my favorite for a couple of reasons. One, they're really small. I don't particularly like how small her sticker sheets are, only because I prefer using bigger stickers. So if you use small stickers in your planner, then like totally go check out Oh Hello, but I prefer larger stickers in my planner. And so, I mean, okay, this is the Rory Sweet Addiction sticker sheet compared to like the oh hello so they are quite a bit smaller so that is just like one of the things that I'm not a huge fan of I also do not like that they're glossy I prefer matte stickers but again personal preference but these wedding sets just did not do it for me again by the time I got these I had done a lot of wedding planning already but like I mean because I'm a theme decorator these colors just did not work for anything that I was planning they did not work for like any theme that I've done since I got my Erin Condren Life Planner because whenever I had meetings and stuff, they didn't match that theme. So that was the only thing that I didn't like about it. Um, these little like kind of cutesy uh, stickers down here, I wasn't a huge fan of. Um, I can find better ways to decorate my life planner with some of the other stickers that I've shown you guys. And yeah, I don't know. I think that they just didn't work for me. I don't know. I don't like that there's like not very much room to write different things on, on her stickers. I just overall wasn't a fan of these. And I don't, I don't like her countdowns because they're all pink. They're too, I don't know, I don't want to call them boring because that's like not very nice to say, but they're not like super fun stickers. Like they're super functional, but they're not super fun. And so that is my only complaint about, well, I guess there was like quite a few complaints, but I don't, I don't like the Oh Hello Wedding Planning stickers. And now that Kayla's engaged, I think that she's probably going to end up designing some stickers that like probably work a little bit better for people who are engaged and like planning a wedding and she even said that in her live stream that now that she is engaged and actually planning a wedding that um she would probably design these a little bit differently so maybe going forward she'll come up with something that will be a little bit more functional like for me these didn't work I mean there's some people who probably have these that like they work really well for but you can see how little of her wedding planning stickers I've actually used because they're just for me personally they just did not work so I hope this video helped you guys. I've been wanting to film it for a while and I just wasn't entirely sure about how to go about doing it. Again, I'm no expert on wedding planning. I'm just showing you guys what has worked for me and what hasn't worked for me. So hopefully it helps you guys out a little bit. If you guys want to see a video after my wedding is over and like maybe some tips and tricks or things that I wish I would have done different or suggestions, like I have no idea. If you guys want to see something after... Uh, comment below and let me know what sort of video you, that would be, like what you guys would want to see, and I would be more than happy to film that for you guys. If you guys are looking for like decorative stickers and stuff, make sure you check your dollar stores. Um, dollar stores have tons of wedding planning stickers. Uh, they're really like they're large stickers though, so if you're not into like decorating and you use your life planner for like more functional purposes, um, maybe that won't be the place to look for you, but definitely like check out your dollar store for wedding planning stickers. I've gotten a lot of good stuff from um, my local dollar store, that's for sure. Yeah, so comment below. Let me know if you guys want to see like an updated wedding planning advice video for when, af when after my wedding is all done. But hopefully this covered everything that you guys needed to know and I will see you in my next video. Bye.